least. Yeah, definitely. I think you know, that was a long last session, long session for us. So towards the end, we, we were probably getting a bit tired. Um, so I think if you know, recover well tonight and come back fresh in the morning. You know, it's we know that it's going to be probably 25, 30 overs max, um, one way, one way or the other. So that's. Uh, you know, we can have that in our minds as bowlers to, to freshen up and gear up for for giving it all we can for that, that 25, 30 overs. John, uh, from then, uh, Dean. Do we have uh, slip catching been a bit disappointing in the first Yes, um, it has. But, it, I mean, for us, it's an area where we've struggled, I think, in probably two years now. It's, you know, it's an area where you know we've changed quite a lot. The personnel in the team's changed quite a lot, so it's been difficult to get a set cordon and people getting used to being in there. Um, but the, the lads work really hard at it, and uh, it's something where we're just going to have to keep working harder and harder, pushing ourselves to be better because um, you can't keep creating the chances that we are and not not taking them. If you know we, we we've seen that you can't drop Virat Kohli on 21 because he's a uh, one of the best players in the world, and he'll capitalise on that, which he did. Um, I can believe it, yeah, because he's a he's a really impressive lad. He's n he's not a twenty year old. Like I remember me as a twenty year old, and I was, you know, I didn't know what was going on. It was sort of I was t in awe of everyone and <coughs> things like that but he's been around quite a bit he knows his, his game really well for a, for a young lad um, his skills are, are brilliant with the ball he knows exactly what he's doing he knows exactly how to set batsmen up um, and we saw that he's got talent with the bat as well you know I've spoken to Alex Stewart before about his batting and he you know well a few, few people have said he's, you know, he, he's got the ability to be a top six batsman so I think it's great to see that, and he's he's obviously got a little bit of fight in him as well to go out in that situation and show the guts and determination that he did to get the team back into the into the match when it looked like we were down and out. I thought it was brilliant to see from such a young guy. Lawrence, Jimmy, is it, is it a case of get Cody out early tomorrow morning and win the game, don't get him out, don't win? Uh, more than likely, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, if he bats like he did first innings, then yeah, I mean. Even batting with the tail, it was so hard to, you know, keep the the tail enders on strike. Um, to have six balls at them, he just managed to find a gap or or managed to get down the other end. Uh, I thought the way he batted with the tail was was brilliant. Um, so yeah, we I mean, we need five wickets. It's as simple as that. We need them fairly quickly, otherwise they'll get the runs. So um, yeah, like I said, we've we've just got to. Give it everything we've got in the morning for first 15, 20 overs. Leave nothing, absolutely nothing out there. Like just give it everything we've got, because I mean it's it's a really exciting place to be because you know that we could do something special tomorrow by winning this Test match. Such a close Test match, so we'll uh, go to bed dreaming about getting Coley out first thing. We'll take care. a couple more gentlemen, back left as we look and step. Yes, go ahead. Even before the series had begun, people were talking about this battle between Anderson versus Kohli, battle of the summer. <coughs> and even before the first test match has ended, this is actually the battle of the summer, it looks like. What are your thoughts on the adjustments that Virat has made on his technique this time? Um, I'm not sure. I, I don't know what adjustments he's made, to be honest. I'm not spoken to him about it. Um, he's on the front foot. <laughs> I've not noticed it. All I'm th all I'm concentrating. I don't really look at uh, his technique too much. I just look at where I, I want the ball to go and where I want it to pitch and what I want want the ball to do in the air or off the off the surface. Uh, and that's what I will keep doing. You know, I'm, I've been encouraged the way I bowled it in this game so far. I found the edge a few times in the first innings. Um, and you know, on another day I could have got him for twenty. And then we're not talking about the, how brilliant he is. With you know, we're talking. <laughs> You know, we could be in a, a much different position now, but that's not the case, and we've just got to go away and know that we can get. He, he, 
he's someone you know no one's invincible in world cricket you know we can get him out and we'll be doing trying to do that in the morning Stefan and this gentleman from what's the explanation for the drops and you mentioned the change in cord and is it that or is it something else and is it something that you've spoken about I don't know I uh, we have we've we've spoken about it because the the amount of drops in the last two years or maybe even longer of, of not being up to the standard of you know we should be catching more than we, we are if we want to be as you know the number one team in the world I remember when when I was in the team that got to the morning in the world we caught everything we had an amazing call and very fortunate that it was settled and they um, and they caught everything at the minute we're we're struggling a bit but as I said the lads work really hard they'll continue to do so that's all we can do is work extremely hard at it and um, hopefully improve last one Question, like, you can see that he is batting outside the trees, so uh, and, and he seems to have well, a better idea of where his off is. So, is there a case for probably trying to push him back going ahead in the series, like push him back and <coughs> so that uh, he, he doesn't get to leave the ball the way he's negotiating the swing the way he is as a bowling unit? How do you plan? Like? Yeah, maybe, maybe we should get you into the next meeting. Really. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, we'll look at it. Like, we'll, we'll sit down after the game and look at if you know if what he's done differently. As I said, I, I think we've bowled pretty well to him. Other than you know the back end of um, I can't remember was it yesterday when he <laughs> batted with the tail and got his hundred and became more. He looked like he went into one day mode. He was running well between the wickets and, and picking gaps really well. Until up until say 60, 70 runs, I thought we bowled really well at, at him. And um, as I said, on another day we could have got him, uh, we could have got him a bit earlier. But um, yeah, it's something we'll look at. We, we, we're always. It's not just. We, I know we're talking about a lot about Ferrat Kohli, but they've got a fantastic batting lineup, which we're <coughs> always trying to uh, look at and see ways of um, having success against them and trying to get them out. Thank you.